It's called a fluid mass electrolytic seismometer. It's a horizontal. Uh, it uses a fluid filled tube as, as the working as the mass, the working medium. And it's the the as the instrument moves horizontal, the fluid of course tries to stay still, and it results in the the fluid moving from one end of the tube to the other. And then there's wires in the in the end area here that penetrate the fluid, one deep into the fluid and one just barely touching the fluid so that the tip of the wire is immersed about a millimeter. And then so you the, the level at the end is about halfway up, is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And there, they, okay. this, the electronics actually have uh, a system in it to, act to measure the fluid height so that when you fill it with fluid you can uh, do it accurately so that the, the, the system has the capability of, of um, allowing you to fill it with fluid intelligently. And also, to, to you, of course, it has to be perfectly horizontal and perfectly level. Uh, in the center, this, this thing in the center here is the damper. And that's a very, it's a very small hole in there that makes this essentially a hydraulic pendulum that's, that's uh, over damped. And the electronics uh, are a bridge, flying capacitor bridge, that measure the impedance difference between the two ends, uh, the, the two electrodes. And uh, the working fluid in this case is a, a propylene glycol antifreeze. And then I add to that some um, uh, rug, <laughs> believe it or not, rug doctor defoamer, which is silicone <laughs> dimethyl siloxane which is a surfactant to reduce the surface tension of the fluid. And uh, just to, this is of course a horizontal size monitor, and I'll give you a quick uh, indication of its performance. Um, now, if I can do this, yeah. This is a trace from uh, WinSDR. The black trace is the microseism, uh, as seen by this instrument uh, in my lab, 